15 reasons why getting paid for taking the time to do great plans is good for everyone, not just you. The number one thing about charging for plans, and again, for you guys that just do design, maybe you can help your contractor friends that you do plans for to understand some of this stuff too. So they can sell the plans for more money so you can get paid more money for the plans. It's the number one serious customer qualifier. If someone that isn't charging for plans right now, I tell them, charge $100. Charge something just to show up to let them know that you are a professional and you're not going to do it for free. There, that's going to save you a lot of time because you're going to get rid of the people that are just looking for ideas. They're just seeing how much something's going to cost. They've already picked someone out there just looking for more, you know, to see if the numbers will match up or whatever. There's a lot of reasons why people will do what they do, some intentional, some not. You don't have to play that game. You charge at least something for your plans. Back on the page here, I do have some links right here. I've done other classes like this. In fact, some of you may have seen me talk about some of these things already. But I've done more classes like this, and I'm kind of going through these things, and I'm, I'm going to re resurrect some of these things and redo them. But there's a lot of good information in these links right here. You know, does a good remodeling plan really cost your client anything? That's a little article I wrote. You should print that out and have it handy. I've got some checklists and things like that for you. Selling and profiting from your design business. Would you go to a free dentist, or would you at least wonder, well, why is this guy free, or why is he so cheap? Can't be very good if they're not charging much. Charging good fees raises your level of professionalism, even in down times. Don't lower your prices. I know it's easy to do. You're obligated to work harder for your clients. The customer asks you, why do you charge for your plans? Because you know I'm a professional in my business and I have overhead and, and I have to pay my people. I have really good people that take really good care of my clients and they have to be compensated. All right. If you're getting compensated, you're obligated to work harder for your clients. You're obligated. You d they deserve to have your time. And because you've done number one, you've, you've gotten rid of all the people that aren't serious, you can focus your time on the people that are serious about the project and are serious about working with you. And that gives you time to build stronger relationships with your client, with what they want to do, with the family. You learn more about their lifestyle, what they want, how they want to do it. And the expectations can be clearly defined. Again, because you're taking the time to go through the process of designing a project and asking the questions and measure a house and everything that's involved in this whole process, picking out the colors, doing the questionnaires, doing everything that's involved. Okay, You will reduce the whys from the client. Why is uh, this supposed to be like this? Why wasn't that wall moved? Why is that window still in the same place? That you know, A lot of the whys that you get, you will reduce those through this planning process, especially if you're working with the client in the planning process. And, and a lot of people don't feel comfortable using chief architect or some program in front of the client. And what you need to do is, is find that client that you're, you're comfortable with and work with them and practice your chief architect skills in front of them, understanding that don't take the time to detail things. All you're trying to do is capture concepts and ideas, then go back and work on the detail by yourself until you get more proficient with chief. If you're comfortable with that, I do it all the time. I love working with my clients on their plans. It saves everybody a ton of time. You're going to help eliminate the no more, the, the I thought I was, thought I was supposed to get this. I thought I, uh, I was supposed to be doing this. You know, the, that's not what I thought I was getting. Okay. Built a room, you put a window in, and the client comes in and says, no, that's not what I thought I was getting. All right. If you can show them in 3D, you bring the plan up and you show them after the window's in or whatever it is, and you go, yeah, that's what we had shown you. It's kind of like, oh. What do they, what can they say? <laughs> okay.